Hey, it's Michael from Plan Academy. Did you know we have awesome Primavera P6 courses? Check them out. We have advanced courses, we have foundational courses. Have a look at them. In this video, we're talking about another Primavera P6 setting that is related to earned value. This time we're talking about the technique for computing performance percent complete. Holy smokes, that's a long setting. A lot of the P6 settings are really long and complicated. What is this for? Do I need, do I need it? What do I do? Let's have a look. Okay, I'm in the admin area under admin preferences. And again, I'm on this earned value tab. And here's the setting we're talking about up here. Technique for computing performance percent complete. I want to remind you that some of these settings like this one can also be found in the WBS area. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Performance percent complete is the main percent complete value or field that we are going to use when we're doing earned value in Primavera P6. Performance percent complete rolls all the way up to the top of the schedule, so we like that. But it also plays a big uh, role in telling us how far the project is or how far the activity is. And that performance percent complete is used in all of the earned value calculations. Now, what we have here with this option, the technique for computing performance percent complete, are five different options for how to compute it. Let's go through each of these options and we'll see what we should do, what we can learn. Okay, so let's talk about the first option. It says use activity percent complete. Activity percent complete is a field in P6 and it actually is driven by the percent complete that you put on an activity. So if I say an activity having spent four days and still another two days, I can manually input a physical percent complete or I can have P6 use the duration. Whatever happens there at the activity level gets copied into this field called activity percent complete. And then this setting here says, let's take that and copy it into performance percent complete. So it, the same percent complete value gets copied twice, okay? I'll let you know, this is the way most of us opt to go when we're using earned value in Primavera P6. Let's let the percent complete that we use at the activity level drive the performance percent complete of the project. So this is my recommendation. I do recommend you go this way, but let's understand the other options. Okay, we have another option here that says use WBS milestones. This is very unpopular option, but in the WBS era, area, and let's go have a look at that right now. Let's go over to WBS. In the WBS area, there is a WBS milestones area. And here we can actually create milestones and weight them. And these milestones can actually drive the percent complete, the performance percent complete of the entire project, okay? You would actually have to come in here and mark the milestones off, check them using this completed checkbox. In this way, we're uncoupling performance percent complete from any of the stuff that's happening on the activities. And it's all being driven by these milestones. This, as you can imagine, is kind of unpopular. We don't really go this way, but we have options here in Primavera P6. Let's get back to that screen so we can talk about the other options. Okay, another option is zero slash 100% complete, and it's similar to 50-50% complete. In these options, an activity that is 0% complete stays 0% complete until it's 100% done. And only then is it 100% complete and factored into my performance percent complete calculation. Same thing with 50-50, the other option. And with 50-50, if the activity, it, the activity stays 0% up until it's halfway done, and then it's 50% complete, and then once it's 100%, it's 100%. So we have these three kind of different uh, options there. So both of these options could be used to drive the calculation for performance percent complete. Again, I don't see people use these very op 
often or at all, but you have flexibility here in Primavera P6 in case you're wondering what they do. Lastly, you can create your own kind of permutation of these ones. So you could say, let's set the custom percent complete to say 25. And what that means is the activity will be 0% complete up until it's 25%, and then it'll stay 25% until it's 100%. So you can also create a custom one like that. Again, I don't see many people using this, but if you're, <laughs> if you're feeling adventurous, you can certainly give it a go and see what those are all about. So I did want to just show you one more time here that these admin options for computing performance percent complete, we can also find these options in the work breakdown structure area and by highlighting any WBS and selecting earn value tab, we have the same options here. So we have activity percent complete and then our milestones 0% in the custom ones. So you can choose to set this value for different WBSs. Different WBSs could have different values. Again, I'm gonna to stick to my recommendation of just keeping things simple. Use the option that's called activity percent complete and notice how that translates from your activities to drive your performance percent complete, which drives all of the earned value calculations. There you have it. If you learned something, I would love to hear from you in the comments and be sure to check out some of our other videos. Hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. I'm Michael. I'll see you again soon.